So, welcome back to another episode of Stories from a Paintball Employee. So I scared a riff half to death today. It was the end of the day, we're all tired, we're all ready to go home, and and the referee Caleb finds a tiny little black spider mixed in with the dirt on the ground. It's it's fake, it's a, it's a plastic one. So he's like, is that a real spider? And I don't have my glasses on, so I gotta take a look at it. So I reach down there and grab it. Because I, I already can tell it's fake. He, he calls me insane because cause it's a fake spider. To be fair, I am not afraid of spiders. I used to let them bite me when I was little because I would hope that they would give me Spider-Man's powers. But that's just me being a stupid kid. Anyway, I straight up told him I am going to put it on your car. And he laughs it off. But I, I walk right over to his car. I don't know why he didn't see me. I walked straight over there, put it right on the roof of the, of the car. So the day goes on, we're finishing up everything else, all the little things cleaning up we have to do. We're having our nightly meeting, that ends, and then we're all leaving. I'm already in my car, turned it on, when I hear him yell. And by this point, I had already completely forgot that I did what I did, like any sane person would do. I thought they were just talking and messing around like they normally do at the end of the day. But then I see him walk around in front of my car, flipping me off. <laughs> And then it clicks, he saw the spider. <laughs> Another story from this past weekend has been the TikTok or the clip story on YouTube, whatever, that I posted. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I will play it here. So what happened was, I was in the office, one of the main refs comes in, he says, I'm gonna shoot him. <laughs> like, well, shoot who? What happened? And he says, Caleb, I'm gonna shoot him. He He's giving me mouth, or I don't remember exactly what he said. He's, he said something about him talking, he, him talking back, and they're joking around. They're not, he's not really mad at him. So I start laughing, and he's like, the funny thing is, he thinks I'm joking. As he's picking up the manager's gun, loads it up, Goes up to the back, test shots it, and then you that's where the clip comes into play. That's where I started recording. He takes aim, and, and you guys just saw what happened. Also, what happened earlier today was when you read out Garrett Predator, they uh they they have to have your ID so that they have collateral if something happens to it, or let's say someone tries to steal it, they have their ID and information already, right? Right. So Big group of 11 people come in, give us their ID, just one ID to hold on to the gear. Day goes through, end of the day comes in, we can't find the ID. I know I saw it there. One of the other referees knows he saw it there. We don't know where it went. However, we have one ID still in the thing, so we call him. He doesn't answer. We text him. He doesn't answer. The manager went on Facebook and messaged him, and he didn't answer. And it was still an under 21 ID, so this kid got spammed. <laughs> After like 20 minutes of looking, the manager finally comes out and he comes to talk to them because he can't he doesn't know what else to do besides tell them that we don't have it. And he's like, uh, I'm sorry, we don't have it. it it's it, it, this has never happened before. He's been working there for a long time. I've been there for over a year, it's never happened. Another referee has been there for over five years, it's never happened. So understandably, he isn't happy. But he tells them that he's going to do what he can to track it down, try to get it back to them somehow, and he'd be happy to give them some park passes to come in and play for free next time. As he's saying this, I'm taking out and cleaning all the guns that were being used that day. I hear from the side of my ear on the other side of the air room, is this it? I look over, and one of the referees has it. And it gets passed over, and then the manager gets it, and the manager is just done. He's like, <laughs> and hands it, and just hands it over to them. And then they're laughing because they were really cool about it. They were really nice people. They're laughing. They're like, "Where was it?" And he's like, "Hold on, I I'm still processing this." <laughs> Apparently, one of the referees who had a party, a private party, to host that day, ended up helping them out when they came in somehow. And in the hectic here. This is the briefing, here's all your gear. While he's in the middle of a party, because he's not supposed to be working with other people, he's only supposed to be working on his party. 
he ended up putting it in his pocket somehow just so he didn't drop it or, or lose it somehow so so he just happened to have come in at the last point where the manager was talking to them and he hears that we're looking for id and he just does this like just stuck his hand in his pockets and he and he feels it so he's like is this it <laughs> We were done. We all looked at him and just shook our heads. <laughs> but the, the dude was real cool about it. He was a really nice player. Hope he comes back out again. All right. So this is going to be the end of that episode, guys. I just wanted to let you know that because I didn't really record an outro back when I was editing or recording those. And I'm editing these almost a year later. So it's been a while of me saving up clips and uh, the other episodes should be out soon. But that's all I'm going to say for now. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode.